Hi everyone, welcome to our first Word Masters Challenge video. Um, tonight you will be making flashcards on words 1 through 13. After I go over each definition, please pause the video and create a flashcard um, that has the word on the front of the card as well as the parts of speech. So that means is it a noun, is it an adjective, is it a verb? Um, that's very important. And all the definitions. Be careful most of these words or, or a good number of these words have multiple definitions in multiple parts of speech that you'll be responsible for. Our first word is uh, a step. And a step is basically a large flat area um, of land with grass and very few trees. Pretty basic definition. And here is the what it would actually look like. You might study these a little bit in geography later in the year with Mrs. Costa. Lash is the next one, and this is a word you've probably heard, heard before. It's a great word when we talk about picking the perfect word in our writing. If you use it as a noun, so if you use it as a person, place, or thing, it means a strike or a hit with a whip. It also means the flexible part of a whip. It's more commonly used as a verb. Um, for example, it means to move violently or suddenly, um, to trash or beat and it means to attack with stinging words. So here's an example of what the first verb definition might look like here. You can see the hockey player is lashing him with a stick, which is more commonly in our game referred to as a slash. Um, in this case, this young woman is lashing out in anger and it looks like she's beating up her computer. I, I've had that feeling before. And to a stack, attack with stinging words, a lash uh, coaches are pretty good at giving lashes to players or officials when they feel like they have a good reason to complain or be upset. Imperious. Imperious, kind of like what we talked about today in class with the, um, the wealthy in the workhouse in the poem that we read. Imperious means showing the attitude of someone who gives orders and expects people to obey them. It's kind of someone who's stuck up. It describes someone who thinks they're better than other people and expects there to be um, kind of following of the rules going on. And this is just a picture I found of some stuck up guy. It kind of has that imperious look on his face like, I'm better than you. And second place, Caroline O'Brien and Kevin Liu for the Y bus. Caroline O'Brien and Kevin Liu for the Y bus, please. Now that we're done with that interruption. Uh, a lackey is a noun, and it's a person who is or acts like a weak servant to somebody more powerful. Um, a perfect example would be the, the poor. They were powerless, um, and they did a lot of menial or less important jobs um, that was really hard labor on them. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, Dobby and any house elf is a lackey. It's basically someone who acts as if they're weak or less than someone and they usually end up serving that person in a way. Annihilate. Great word. Um, it means to destroy or defeat something completely. This scoreboard is a great example of Georgia Tech annihilating Cumberland. I'm not sure if that score is actually real. Um, and you can also annihilate someone in a fight, just like this player here has annihilated this guy's right eye. Sporadic means it happens often, but not regularly. It's not constant or steady. For example, and it's, it's an adjective, by the way. For example, if most of the time you have your homework, but recently you've been starting to slip, I may call mom or dad and say that your homework and your work completion outside of school has been sporadic. It's been up and down. This is an example of a sporadic chart. You can notice that the graph goes up and down. It's kind of all over the place, and it's not constant or consistent. An impasse is basically a situation in which no progress seems possible or a deadlock. So if you reach an impasse, it's like, no matter what happens, we're not going to agree on this. So we might as well, um, we might as well not uh, continue with it. For example, in this picture, these guys seem like they're at an impasse um, and that they're not necessarily agreeing on something. Sometimes it can feel like when parents are fighting, like they're, they're at an impasse and they just can't agree and that there's no end in sight. An impasse can also be used for physically when there's a block in the road that makes it impossible please, to move on. Is in room 105. 
deviate. Deviate is a great, um, a great word, but it does have three parts of speech that you have to be aware of. The first is a verb, and it means to stray away from the standard principle or topic. For example, if you deviate from the conversation, let's say sometimes during English class, as focused as I try to be, we can get a little off task and start talking about our lives or stories or connections we've made. And that's an example of when we deviate from the topic. Not that ever happens in here. A noun as a deviate is somebody who differs from the norm, somebody who does things and strays away from what normally happens. Um, for example, if everyone in the class always does their homework and there's one person who consistently doesn't, that person would be considered like, like a deviate or, or somebody who consistently breaks rules that everybody else follows. Um, and an adjective means if you um, a deviate, it means to stray away from normal behavior. And you can see here in this picture, here's a picture of all the fish going one way and the normal way, or they think the, is the normal way, and this one fish is, is the deviate or is deviating away from that. Opaque, again, has three, so be sure you're aware of the three different types. Um, a noun is something that does not allow light through and or is difficult to understand. Um, for example, if you came up to me really upset because your blog crashed last night while you were working on it and you were huffing and puffing and basically having a panic attack in front of me, I, I might say that your explanation is kind of opaque and I don't really know what you're talking about and you need to kind of calm down and explain it to me. Um, as an adjective, if you describe something as opaque, for example, um, sometimes for me, math class was an opaque class because it was difficult to understand and I didn't really get it. Um, you can also use it less commonly, it's used as a verb, um, and it means to cover up blemishes, and it's especially used when um, discussing pictures. So after your pictures, if you had a mark on your face or you had a pimple or something like that, they might be able to opaque and take care of it. Escarpment is a noun, and it just stands for a long cliff-like ridge of land or rock. Again, just another good geography term to know, and there is an example of one. Sequester is a great word that you may have heard, be heard, heard before, especially when talking about um, juries or trials. Sequester as a verb means to put in solitude or to seclude. For example, if you get timeout, although this looks like kind of a nice timeout area, but you would be secluded from the rest of the class. It can also mean to remove that, I'm sorry, that should say to remove or separate. And oftentimes when a jury is working on a really like public trial, like a big murder trial or a big robbery trial, they may be sequestered. So a jury may be sequestered, which means they have to stay in a hotel and they're guarded by police all the time because they want to protect the jury and make sure the jury isn't getting information from news reports that could sway their vote either way. Indispensable is both an adjective and a noun. And essentially, as an adjective, it means something that is absolutely necessary or essential and it's impossible to ignore or neglect. For example, Mrs. Costa, I would argue, is indispensable in her role on the Costa team. We need her here every day. The whole team's named after her. Um, as a noun, it's something or someone that is absolutely necessary or essential. Um, for example, um, a, having a, a game plan is an indispensable before you play your big game. You have to have it. It's necessary or essential. Scourge is another great word related to punishment. Um, as a noun, it means a whip or a lash, especially when used for punishment. It also means a person or thing that applies punishment and or criticism. Um, the verb version means to punish or lash or to criticize or punish severely. So in this case, here, here's an example of a teacher back in the old days getting ready to scourge somebody with um, a paddle and a very frightened student. And then 
to criticize or punish severely. This looks like a dad who might not be happy with his kid. Might be report card time. Maybe. Maybe some of you experienced this. Um, and that's, again, what a scourge is. Okay, thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. I hope you found this helpful. So make sure that you go back and you double-check that you have the word, the parts of speech, and the definitions in order to receive full credit on the assignment for tomorrow. Have a great night, and I look forward to seeing you all on Friday.